or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we are at Hardy's slash Carl's Jr., whatever it's called in your area, but we are at Hardy's. It's called Hardy's for us. So we're at Hardy's. They have a new uh, BLT hand breaded chicken sandwich. So it's a piece of chicken, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and mayo on a bun. I'm going to give dad his. There's this real quick of his. I'm going to show you mine a little bit closer up. We'll let dad get started and okay. see what it's talking about, Dave. I'm going to show you guys mine a little closer here. So let's do a 360. I'm not trying not to drop my bacon everywhere. So let's inspect it before we wreck it, guys. So there's the mayo. I hope the sun's going to let you see that. The bacon the pan breaded chicken breast underneath lettuce and tomato big piece of uh lettuce a couple slices of tomatoes not looking too bad not looking too bad so here in ohio they are charging i have my paper guys i truly do oh I put it in my book. The, I, I'm recalling it from memory here. They're charging $7.69 for these. I'm surprised I remembered. $7.69 for these chicken BLT hand breaded chicken sandwiches here in Ohio. And Hardee's. Here we go. I'm going to give this thing a whirl. I forgot to tell you, we also got a pie a piece. Um, it's the peach, yeah, peach and cream cheese fried pie. So me and Dad's got that to try after this, after this sandwich. They're charging a dollar fifty for those pies a piece. Okay. So I've had the chicken sandwiches at Hardee's from time to time, not a lot of them. And every time I notice, I, I don't really like showing you guys my teeth marks here, but I want to show you the chicken. And I don't know if the camera's going to show it. The chicken is, it's not sawdust dry, but it's pretty dry. I like the crispy coating on the chicken though. I like the lettuce and tomato and mayo with it. If it didn't have the mayo, it would be super dry. We're going to rate this, guys. We're going to give it a score from 1 to 10 uh, or somewhere in between. And if that all sounds good to you, please subscribe, guys. Show that subscribe button some love. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free. It's easy. And if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe, we understand. But can you give us a thumbs up? Just asking for a little support. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Yes, it does. Thank you for all your support, guys. Thank you for your um, very respectful comments. Have you tried this sandwich? Comment below. Do you have a favorite or Hardee's or Carl's Jr. sandwich? Comment down below. Let us know. Have to get that bite done, Dad. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us the pros and cons of this chicken sandwich. It's good, and you see, it's, uh, the inf the tomato and everything is very good. Okay, finish your finish your chew bacon. Up. Finish your chew up first, babe. You don't have to hurry. No sense of hurrying. I don't want you to get choked. What do you think about the bacon? The bacon is really crispy. It is really crispy. Uh, the chicken is a little dry. Yeah, I agree with her. And the chicken is a little dry. But uh, it's overall a good sandwich. Uh, and, but everything, everything within it, 
makes it juicier. Yeah, like having the tomatoes and the mayo on it, I think it helps out. It helps out the chicken. For the chicken being dry. It kind of makes up for it. Mm. Um, I think it's relatively good. Here's my problem with it, guys. $7.69, so it's heading towards $8. Do I think it's an $8 chicken sandwich? No. I don't think it's an $8 chicken sandwich. But it's okay, okay? Um, are you thinking of a score? Don't tell me yet, but are yeah. you thinking of a score? Yeah. Okay, um, well, let me explain our uh, rating scale. That way, you guys, if you're new to the channel, you understand where we're coming from on our scale. Okay, we're rating this on the fast food experience. We're not, we're not rating it like a Michelin star restaurant. We're not even rating it like a three or four star restaurant, okay? We're rating it on the fast food product of what it is, okay? Mm -hmm. So a five or lower is that thing is garbage. Don't waste your money. Get something else. A six to a seven is, eh, it's okay. We really wouldn't recommend it. We'll eat it, but we really wouldn't recommend it, okay? Anything above a seven, we recommend. The closer it gets to a ten, we highly recommend and we rarely give out tens. We give out tens of a special something that knocks our socks off, that tastes so good, we can't imagine it tasting any better. That's what we give a 10. So what's your score on a chicken sandwich? The then? breading is good. Mm -hmm. The bun is good. The chicken is a little bit dry. Mm -hmm. uh, the tomato and the dressing is inside. The inside makes it more juicier. Mm -hmm. Right makes the chicken it, more juicy. It helps it out. And and I I'd had to rate it at eight. Okay. That's fair. That's very fair. Um I'm not going quite the bacon the bacon is crisp. good. Crisp, yeah it's crisp. It's crisp. got a good smoky bacon flavor. It's not super salty. I agree with that. The bun's nice and soft. If that mayo wasn't there though guys this thing would be too dry. Right. It'd be They're too right. dry. I like the tomatoes and lettuce and bacon on it, that BLT thing going on. You can go ahead and finish if you want to, Dave. Um, I can't quite give it an 8, okay? And I I want to give it more than a 7.5. So I'm going to give it a 7.75. It's not quite an 8 for me. If the price was a little lower, if that chicken was more juicy, I might give it a 9. I mean, that's where we're at with it. I mean, it, it's a decent sandwich. I would recommend it. If you're wanting a chicken sandwich, you go to Hardee's or Carl's Jr. a lot, or you got them close by. I wouldn't recommend it enough to jump in a car right now and go get one. You know what I mean? It's not that good, but it's okay good. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Yes, it does. It's a little better than just okay. I mean, I'm definitely going to finish my sandwich and enjoy it. It's just not the best chicken I sandwich. I skin. enjoy it and I, I'll, I'll, I'll almost finish it. Yeah, yeah. Before you do finish it, do you want to try a bite of this pie though real quick? Yeah. I'm, we're going to share one. Okay, guys, there's no way I can eat a whole one right now. I've had a headache all morning, so. So if you're wondering if I'm off a little bit, I've had a headache, migraine, one of those ones where you feel horrible, you got to lay down. But here's the fried pie. They're charging a dollar. 50 for these it's supposed to be the peaches and cream uh, yeah cream cheese oh yeah it's peaches and cream cheese inside can you see it it's warm too so it's peaches and cream cheese now like I said they're charging a dollar fifty for it It's warm. The cream cheese is creamy. It's not. It's. It's. I. I want to. It's not thick like you know, like normal cream cheese. It's uh, creamy. The peaches are warm in there. I taste the hint of cinnamon. What do you think about this thing, Dad? Do you like the flavor of it? Yes, I do. Oh, you do. Yes, yeah, I do. You really do. I not, like, it, I like it's it with, crunchy, it's crispy. Yeah, it's crispy. It's not oily. It's I thought it would be oily. It's not oily. It's not. The peaches in it are got the a good. Peaches have got a good taste to it. Yeah, they're not super sweet. The cream either. cheese is, is good. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I'd give it an eight. You give it an eight? Yeah. yeah. So you would, if, if you were here at Hardee's and you wanted something a little sweet, you would actually get one of those and eat mm -hmm. it? Wrong. Yeah. Very good, guys. He gave it an eight. For what it is, I, 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 I gotta give it an 8. I gotta give it a 7.5. It's pretty okay. I've had a lot more, a lot of other better desserts, you know. I'm sure you've seen some of my videos. Um, I give it a 7.5. I think it's good enough to try. If you haven't tried it, it's not super sweet. And I think that's why Dad likes it. Because mm -hmm. sometimes when something is super sweet, then he gets turned off by no, it really quick. Yeah. So. You're right. You're right than that. Now me, <laughs> on the other hand, a lot of times if it's super sweet, I'll say it's super sweet, but I'll still eat it and I'll still really enjoy it. But I have lately enjoyed stuff that isn't super sweet. So I guess it just depends on what mood I'm in for me. But I know Dad, if it's super sweet, he can't. He's kind of turned I've off I've been into it. that and I swear to God, it... It tastes good. Mm -hmm, it does taste good. I agree. I agree. And I like it. I like them cold. I, I still like them cold. Like pie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I've been fighting a headache all day. I feel like it's trying to come back. And the sun's super bright. And I can barely see my screen on my phone. So I'm hoping our, our video's turning out all right. I think it is. But anyway, you about ready to let them go, yes, then? Okay, are. guys. We hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. Right, Dad? A great day and a better tomorrow, and we will say bye-bye. Yes, we will, guys. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Right, Maybe Dad? Maybe she will feel better. I hope I will. I'm going to pump myself with some ibuprofen profile when I get home. Excuse me, that pop. Anyway, guys, until tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye.